What's up adventurers? Mikey Bell here with Outdoor Adventure Training where we design customized training programs to meet the specific demands of outdoor athletes. To read more about our programs, check out the description below. Today we're bringing you an awesome plyometric routine designed for hikers, trail runners, mountaineers, trekkers, backpackers, anybody who is spending time moving on the trail or even off the trail. Plyometric training, also known as reactive training, is an integral part in all of our training programs because it really works to build speed, agility, quickness, power, and ultimately your ability to adapt to the external environment, which is absolutely critical for every outdoor athlete. You need to be able to respond when that rock moves on you or when the snow is slippery. You need to be able to catch your balance and that's what plyometric training is all about. It's all about jumping, hopping, stabilizing, landing, and being able to move in a different plane of motion quickly. Hopefully no one finds this too offensive, but as a mountain guide, you see a lot of people coming from metropolitan areas that spend a lot of time in very controlled, flat environments, which is just the reality of it. But they often show up to the mountain with what we call weak little city ankles. This is a quick 10 minute routine that's gonna help change those city ankles into strong, robust mountain ankles ready to take on any adventure that you throw their way. You may have noticed by now the tape on the ground is just for me to reference when I'm doing some of these movements like front to back, side to side. It really doesn't matter if you have tape or not, even just a seam or a crack in a sidewalk is a great tool to work with. You can lay a band down on the ground, a belt, a piece of rope, whatever you have. If you have nothing at all, you can still perform all of these same movements just fine, it really doesn't matter. It just helps to have some target to jump over. So this is a quick little 10 minute routine that we're working different movements. We're starting with a squat jump with stabilization just to fine tune our jumping mechanics. Then we're gonna be working on side to side hops, front to back hops, multi-directional hops, and repeating all of that on one leg. So it's definitely not easy. Make sure you're warmed up. If you haven't warmed up already, we have a link for that in the description. You can find it right here in the video as well. And let's get to it. Okay, so once again, we're gonna be following along with the Trainerize app. You're gonna see the timer pop up on your screen. That's gonna guide us through the workout. We're starting off with a squat jump with stabilization, mainly to identify the phases of jumping that are really important to this workout. So we're starting off with our load phase. We're eccentrically creating all of this potential energy that we can then unleash and power up before I absorb my landing softly. So again, I'm loading, exploding up, and really the key here is that I'm landing softly, and this is the case for all the exercises in this workout. So I'm loading, exploding quickly, really absorbing through the feet, ankles, knees, hips, my back is loaded, meaning I'm never rounding like this. You're half done. Let's get a few more of these. Notice my hands too, throwing the hands back, popping up, absorbing that landing, landing, stabilizing, standing back up to center. Let's get a couple more here. Load, explode, absorb. That's what we're going for. 10 seconds left. Let's get a Hang couple more there. here. Big load, pop it up, absorb, stabilize. You're done. Come up to in center. Three, okay. Two, so those one. are the general phases of Rest jumping. For Some seconds. of these, all of these principles apply to all these exercises. Some more than others. We're going to be transitioning more so to quickness as we go to side to side plyometric hops. Forgive me <laughs> if I get out of breath. There is some cardio we'll involved start with this. In three, okay. So two, working with my line one. side to side. Side to side hops. hops. For six so seconds. I'm still loading and exploding just not as exaggerated as in the squat jump. Notice my feet are staying parallel. I'm not letting my knees cave in, keeping them in line with my hips and my feet. Not a lot of motion through the upper body. I'm not jumping side to side, I'm trying to stay quick. Midline, over the midline. Feet moving side to done. side. Now, if you can only go this fast for now, that's okay. But ideally, plyometrics 
We're going quick. Building that speed, building that agility. Hang in there. 10 more seconds. Ten seconds left. Hang in Trying there. Trying to stay low the best you can. You're done in three, two, one. Woo. Rest okay. For 20 seconds. Shake the legs out, got a 20 second rest. Then we have front to back hops next. I'm gonna go sideways to the camera just so you can see what we're looking for. So again, more so I'm staying on the balls we'll of my feet with this, three, on my toes. Two, Here we go, one. front to back. Front to back hops. So again, for 60 seconds. still keeping that midline over the center of my target, not picking my feet up a ton. My heels are never touching. I'm staying quick and reactive and staying low the best I can. 60 seconds. Feels like eternity doing some of these exercises. <laughs> You're Pay attention done. to your posture. Pay attention to your core. Keeping all of these things engaged. Go to your happy place. Imagine that beautiful hike, that mountain you're gonna climb. I came way off of my target. <laughs> That's why it's Ten good to have left. that. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Stay low, keep it quick. In three, two, one. Okay. Rest. For so that's why seconds. that target's nice. I started to drift way back because I was spending too much time talking. Got to shut my trap and jump. Okay. Multi-directional hops are next. A lot of room for creativity here. We'll We're going to start off front, three, back, left, two, right. One. Here we go. So front, back, hops. left, for 60 right. Seconds. And I'm going to try to repeat that. Front, back, left, right. Front, back. Working on accuracy. It's gonna help with that agility, that body proprioceptive awareness. I blew it. Front, back, left, right. <laughs> this is a brain game. Okay, now let's reverse it. So back, left, right, You're front. Done. <laughs> there we go. Try to find that rhythm. Again, it really doesn't matter what you're doing. Let's try each quadrant now. Front, work in the square. All planes of motion. 10 seconds left. Reverse it. In there. Hang in there. We're done. In three, Keep it going. Two, one. Rest nice. For 20 okay. Seconds. So we're not doing the squat jump again, but we're gonna do Side to side, front to back, and multi-directional. All on one leg. This is where it gets hard. So choose whichever we'll leg you wanna start with. Three, two, right leg, only 40 one. seconds here. Still trying to stay Single on my toes. Side to side, hops. side, to side. Seconds. You are not gonna go as quick with this one. That's okay. Focus on the accuracy, staying low. Bend in the knee. We're never hyper extending the knee. Keeping everything bent, ready to move in any direction at any time. That's what athleticism is. Stay low. Ten seconds left. Probably gonna feel this Hang in, in your glute, in your calf, in your quads. To be expected. We're done. In three, Keep going. two, one. Whew. Whew, just a rest ten second for rest. Ten seconds. I don't know who designed this workout. But they should have given we'll us more rest. Here we go. Three, two, left leg now. One. Should feel Single good to switch side legs to side here. Hops. For 40 seconds. Okay, so I just found myself kind of leaning over to the left. Stay low, stay centered. My right leg is definitely stronger than the left. Something I've been working on for years. And we'll continue to work on that for a long time to come. Pay attention if you're working front to back at all. Really Ten try to stay left. side to side. Hang in there. Stay low. Keep it quick. You're Pay attention done. to your target. Three, two, one. Okay. Rest for 20 Going seconds. back to the right leg now. I'm sweating. It only took five minutes. We're gonna go front to back here. 
single leg. I'm gonna try to stay in these two quadrants. Staying low, bending the knee on the we'll ball of the foot. Three, Here we go. Two, front to back. Four. Single leg front to back hops. For 40 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Woo! Starting to feel it. <laughs> this is great training, especially if you don't have access to the mountains to create that same impact that we need and we want. Build that joint stabilization. 10 seconds left. That bone density. That muscle tension we're looking for. You're done in three, All two, right. one. Shake it out. Four, switching 10 sides, seconds. switching legs. Just a quick 10 second rest. We'll start in three. Staying low, two, here we go. One. Single leg front to back hop. For 40 seconds. And it's not true about the weak city ankles. Your ankles can still be plenty strong living in the city. Just a joke. Hopefully no one hates on that comment. But it is a testament to the value of spending time outside on the trail, moving an uneven left. terrain. Hang in there. Really can strengthen those joints, ligaments. That's what we want. You're done. As in an outdoor three, athlete. Two, one. Woo! Rest for 20 seconds. Okay. We're getting to the end here. Just two more quick sets. Single leg multi-directional hop. Probably the one more difficult ones. I'm gonna start off front, back, we'll start left, three, right. We'll see two, how that goes. One. Right leg, here we go. Front, back, left, pause. right. For 40 seconds. Back, left, right, front, back, left, right. Nice, feeling good about that. Try to hit those points. Okay, let's mix it up. Right, back, front, left. Right, back, front, left, right, back. Right, back, front. <laughs> Ten seconds My left. brain's having a harder time there. with this one. Right, back, front, left. You're done in three, Woo. two, one. The end of the day, Rest. it's all about Four hopping. Seconds. Don't get too caught up. Don't get frustrated if you're just not nailing it. We'll start in three. I've been doing this stuff two, forever and I still mess one. it up. Okay, front, back, left, right. For 40 seconds. Last exercise. Last set. Got sweat dripping, baby. In the garage gym, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna switch directions here, or try to. Right, left, front, back. Right, left, front, back. Hang Ten in there, come on. Till the end. Keep moving, we're almost this. done. You're done in three, two, one. Woo! Awesome. Nice that work. That was a killer workout. Shake those legs out. Can already feel those calves and ankles getting strong. That's what we want. Okay, that was definitely not easy. We can use that little rate of perceived exertion monitor to put whatever you thought it was. Leave a little comment to your trainer. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick and dirty plyometric workout routine to really help strengthen your foot, your ankles, all the muscles that support our lower legs during the activities that we love so much on the planet that we love so much. Please leave a comment below, thumbs up, subscribe. It all goes a long way. We look forward to seeing you next time right here at Outdoor Adventure Training.